Mike Desmond, I am a partner at Gibson Dunn & Crutcher, and I work mostly out of the Los Angeles office, but also co-located in a Washington, D.C. office. Um, off and on in different capacities, I've known Kurt and Alan for a number of years, so um, participated in various forms for probably five plus years, maybe even longer, so certainly known Kurt and Alan for, for that long, if not longer. You know, I think it's important to get a wide range of conferences. Um, tax tends to have an East Coast focus where much of my practice has been through my career. So New York, DC, and I think the Hawaii Tax Conference in particular brings a nice West Coast focus. Um, Hawaii and the rest of the West Coast and a kind of Pacific facing tax presence that's very important um, that I think sometimes gets excluded from the discussion that is oftentimes driven by more of an East Coast, DC, New York focus. So. Um, this conference in particular important for that reason. Well, I didn't appreciate this until today, but I guess it's been around for 60 years. Um, so the income tax has been around for longer than that, and I expect will be around for longer than that. So I would expect, particularly in this virtual and semi-virtual environment, that it will only have uh, a great bright future. Um, 60 more years at a minimum, and I think that the issues we're dealing with in tax are gonna be with us for uh, many years longer than that. So death and taxes will always be here, and I suspect the Hawaii Tax Institute will be as well. Normally the opportunity to go to Hawaii. <laughs> so um, a little bit limited in our ability to do that now with the pandemic, but um, I do always uh, have some optimism that the light is at the end of the tunnel. I know we are scheduled for November of 2022 for the in-person conference uh, back in Hawaii and look forward to being there. Um, I will confess I've only been to Hawaii once, and that was earlier last year uh, after I left the chief counsel's office at the IRS, spent over a month in Hawaii and had a fantastic time and look forward to the opportunity to get back and hopefully um, in November, if not sooner. I think I go back to the point I made earlier, which is it does have more of a Pacific facing, West Coast facing um, audience and um, substantive focus as well. Um, the issues that I think practitioners and taxpayers on the West Coast are dealing with, dealing more um, with Asia in particular, rather than a European facing that you get more on the East Coast. So I think it brings that unique perspective. Um, and also, I just think the broad range of speakers, um, notwithstanding that West Coast focus, the Institute is very successful in attracting speakers from across the country um and really from around the world so bringing that perspective to a um, substantive content that is more kind of west coast pacific facing hmm. uh it's been fantastic i've done a couple of programs with people i know very well most of my practice is in the controversy arena um so the other practitioners that do that work uh, i know very well and have done some programs here with them i've had some opportunities with the institute to also um, work with people in other areas um, doing some valuation issues, transfer tax issues that is not my core practice, but it's something that I do play around in and do dabble in. So it's been a great opportunity to see the, the quality and caliber of speakers that come in to some of those areas that are certainly taxed, just not the principal area of my focus and um, attest to the skill set and uh, credentials and speaking capacity of all those people. It's been great. I think a lot of it is the introduction to speakers and panelists. Um, I kind of started my career I spent about five years working for the government early in my career in the Justice Department Tax Division, but then when I went out into private practice, one of the key elements of my career, I think, was to go to conferences like Hawaii and the ABA tax section and others and really get to know a lot of the practitioners that have been around doing it for a long time, um, both in private practice and also in, in government, get to know who some of the key government players are in the tax world. Um, and all those people can form a formal and informal network for you as a young practitioner to kind of grow up and mature and see what other people have done through the course of their career. Lots of opportunities in tax and just to see what people do, um, I think would be very formative. I would say absolutely. Um, again, I think it's a great opportunity like many conferences, but this one in particular to find a real diverse range of speakers and backgrounds. Um, some other conferences can tend to have a much more technical focus, and that is included in Hawaii, but I think it's a much broader focus as well. Um, and really the opportunity to interact with people, I think is a unique element that Hawaii brings. 
um, probably the nature of the Hawaiian culture and kind of the more informal collegial, or collegial nature of the conference is reflected in that.